the last time I party hard on 4th of July. Where the hell are we anyways? Oh, fuck. What's up everybody, welcome to Tones Over Thinks It, the show where I think too much to make up for the people who don't think at all. So, as promised, Fezzington and I are going to be covering sovereign citizens all over the world, and I'm sure you're all thinking this is the last place on earth we're going to find any. Well, fear not, because there are indeed Russian sovereign citizens. In fact, here's a video of one at a traffic stop. Let's see how it goes. Are you serious? Well, this guy certainly didn't waste any time. Now, unfortunately, I don't speak Russian, and this video didn't come with any kind of translation, so you can just assume that he's saying the typical things, like he's traveling, not driving, he doesn't contract, he doesn't consent, and to be perfectly honest, for all we know, he may not even be a sovereign citizen, but this is consistent with that typical disregard for the law and authority, and a serious, blatant disregard for potential consequences. So let's see how long via circular conversation and stalling that the driver chooses to drag this out before the cops drag him out. Holy shit! What the heck? Not even two minutes and he was done. Something I'm sure Putin's ex-wife said on a regular basis. Anyways, let's try to move on to another traffic stop. Damn, that was even faster. Okay, let, let's try another one. Okay, I give up. It's painfully obvious that no Russian sovereign citizen is going to try their nonsense in their own country. Because, well, let's be honest, Russian police don't screw around. Wow, been a while since we had one of these. So as we're all no doubt familiar, sovereign citizens, Karens, frauditors, your basic anti-authority types, love to exaggerate and complain about U.S. law enforcement claiming they use excessive force, that they're tyrants, that they're thugs, etc. But in reality, compared to other countries, our police are actually quite tame by comparison. I mean, one need only look at the data from countries even willing to report how many fatal police encounters there are every year. And even there, the U.S. doesn't even make the top five. So you can only imagine what the numbers are in other countries that don't feel beholden to the rest of the world to report them. So if you think you're having a bad day with police here in the U.S., just know that it could be a lot worse anywhere else. So when you're a sovereign citizen from a country that won't entertain your bullshit for even a second, what do you do? You go to the US, of course. Now originally I would have loved to have made this video about the ever so entertaining Lenka Coloma and her latest shenanigans. And this is something probably just mind blowing to you, probably never heard it before. But when you go home today or when you go to your desk, please look up uh, 28 USC, USC stands for United States Code. Section 3002, paragraph 15A. You know what that will tell you? Is that the United States is a federal corporation. But it turns out she's actually Czechoslovakian, and also frankly listening to her for more than two minutes runs the risk of my brain melting. But fortunately, thanks in no small part to a channel called Coffee and Donuts, we found the next best thing. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description. Be sure to head over there, subscribe, and show your support. 
As I've always said, body cam channels are vital. They do a great service. They're willing to go out and find all these clips and make sure they're available for public consumption and are far better agents of transparency than any frauder ever could be. So today we're going to take a look at a video of yet another sovereign citizen Karen from Eastern Europe trying her luck here in the US. She claims to be a free woman, but in the end all she really does is argue her way into getting arrested for contempt of court. Leave me alone. Oh, leave me alone. Alex. I want you to record everything. I'm politely asking you to stand up, please. please but I don't up. want to. I don't care if you want to or not, ma'am. I'm Me asking you politely to stand up. I, but I don't care what you want. Asshole. Major asshole. Okay, we're only at the beginning and we're already off to a phenomenal start. First of all, that cop's answer, priceless. Second, we are dealing with a particular brand of narcissistic entitlement that I find both incredibly frustrating, but also delightfully entertaining. This is the kind of person who thinks they are so entitled that the very concept of them being subject to any kind of authority or consequences is unfathomable to them, as we are about to witness constantly. Leave me. Leave. Alex, please record everything. Record everything. Record everything that's said. We're recording. We're recording. It's on body camera. No. Leave me alone. Ma'am, please stand up. Okay. Once more. No. To this Let's gentleman who is a lawyer for his forum. Stand her up. Let's go. Stand up. You have no right. right to touch me. Okay. Leave me alone. Ah! Ma'am, My hand fine. hurts me. Okay, can you wow. That sudden shift from wailing to just nonchalantly saying you're in pain sounds really convincing, lady. Can you place your arm behind your back? No. Leave me alone. You have no right to arrest me. You have no right. No, I'm not this. I'm just visiting here. You got my papers from me. That's that's a crime. That's a crime. I'm just visiting here. Yeah. You receive. Listen. Ask her six four nine nine three. Ask them to leave me free. Ask them to leave me free. No, you didn't answer you my question. Her, my or basic free woman questions. You haven't answered even one question. Lady, he's the judge. It's not his job to answer your questions. His job is just to preside over the case. Now, if you have questions or require assistance because there's something you don't understand, then hire a lawyer. You are harassing me here. I came to visit and you harassing me by asking your people who are working for the same company as you to put and handcuff me and, and harass me. We'll, we'll see you at 130. Yes, Your Honor. Leave me alone. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone. God, sir. Keep saying it, Karen. Maybe after the 50th or 60th time, they'll actually do it. No, no, no. I want the contract. Uh, show me the contract that I'm giving you the consent. When you're clear, I can bring the uh, elevator up to you. No, no, no. Who, who is? No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not agreeing to that. I don't give you the agreement to that. You are representing a private company, all of you. Let's walk, let's walk her over. Let's, let's walk her over. I, you're representing a private company. I'll take my document. Leave me alone. Leave me alone, traitor. Really? Traitor? Lady, anyone with ears can tell that you are clearly from out of town. You said so yourself, you're just visiting. You don't get to decide who's a traitor to a country you're not even from. Leave me alone. I want my papers with me. You hurting me. We're not hurting you. You hurting me. Leave me alone. Grab the door, please. I want my belongings with me. We have them with you now. No, Stasha. This is this is this is a crime. Crime. That's a crime. You're doing crime. I'm already in contact with uh, special people. You're gonna, you're gonna get uh, papers soon. Okay, that's fine. That. Show me the contract that you have power over, over me. Ooh, ooh, I know this one. I know this one. You see, Karen, every country has this invisible line that you can only see on a map that's drawn all around it, forming a circle. Now, go with me on this. If you are standing inside of that circle, you are inside that country, which means you are subject to that country's laws. Everybody got that? Hello, do you have jurisdiction over me? You have no jurisdiction over me. 
Show me that you have personal jurisdiction over me. Leave me alone! No! I am free woman. Show me you have jurisdiction over me. Okay. We're done talking. Show me you have jurisdiction over me. Show me you have jurisdiction over me! Well, you are there, you came to court, the judge found you in contempt, he ordered the officers to remand you into custody, and they did it. Sounds like they have jurisdiction to me. Leave me alone. Do you want to rape me here? What do you want to Everything's being recorded, man. Wow, do you want to rape me? That's disgusting. What, really? You're that entitled? You just assume you're gonna get some action? Well, rest easy. I'm sure nobody is remotely that desperate. Certainly not. Well, I didn't you... I, did, I don't want you to touch me. Well, I didn't give you consent to touch me. You you're touching like my correct. body. You, you are touching... No, to he's just a lawyer law. working for a private company. He has no jurisdiction law. over me. He has no jurisdiction over me, okay. and no, no, neither you. Okay. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. Did we search Don't her? touch me. Yeah. Stop touching me. Did we search her? Why are you touching me? Why don't we go ahead and search Why are you touching me? The, the... Why are you touching my body? Um, because you're under arrest? You know that you work for company. He works for company and so-called Christopher who calls himself a prosecutor. You work all, all of you for the same company. How one person, one company can judge another person who belongs to the same company? Think about that. He is not a judge. He is employee of Hillsborough. They gave him a judge title, but he is just a lawyer and works for the same company like you. Why he is giving orders to somebody who works for the same company? Look, I'm going to be honest, it's kind of difficult to follow what she's saying half the time in a combination of both her accent and the fact that she's just rambling incoherently. But if I can try to address what she just said simply, First of all, the United States is not a corporation. Um, even if it were, someone in a company can issue orders to someone lower than them in a company. It's called a hierarchy. Everyone who's ever had a job has had a boss. They've had someone they had to answer to. The only conclusion I could draw with this lady is that she's never held a job because she can't understand the concept of having to answer to anybody. And <laughs> No. They both, they both, bosses wanted me to be arrested. No, I can do what I want. I am a free that. woman. And nobody cares for I me. Mean, I just came to visit here. Okay. I just came to okay. visit here. Leave me alone. There are consequences to that too. Leave me alone. Everything has consequences. Yeah, everything has a consequence. Such as, I don't know, Acting entitled and disruptive in court? And you, you're working against a free people. You're working against with the people. Who is we? I'm sorry I keep interrupting, but seriously, this just blows my mind. You're not an American. According to you, you're a visiting foreign national. Like, when American Revolutionary author Thomas Paine got involved in the French Revolution, initially, he didn't claim to be French nor speak for them. It wasn't until after he was granted citizenship and was elected to a committee to help draft their constitution could he then speak on their behalf. You're not claiming citizenship, Karen, and I'm pretty sure nobody has elected you. I certainly haven't. Anyways, after several more minutes of her saying the same damn things she's been saying already, and at the risk of it getting repetitive, let's skip ahead to later when she's brought once again before the judge and the prosecutor in my opinion, delivers one of the best proverbial smackdowns to a sovereign citizen I have ever witnessed. Stop touching me. I don't want those people to touch me. For the record. I didn't allow them, I didn't give them the contract to have any rights over me and touch my body. They put something on my hands, they touching my body, and I didn't allow them to do it. They're corporations and they have no clear contract with me allowing them to do whatever they do to me right now. Judge, can I just be heard for one minute? Max. What? This is it! Rule 1101, summary contempt in the presence of the court. A judge conducting a judicial proceeding may adjudicate contempt summarily 
without an order to show cause if the conduct has obstructed, obstructed or if continued would obstruct the proceeding. The conduct occurred in the actual presence of the judge, was actually seen or heard by the judge. The character of the conduct or its continuation after appropriate warning unmistakably demonstrates its willfulness. Immediate adjudication is necessary to permit the proceeding to continue in an orderly or proper manner, and the judge has afforded the alleged contender an immediate opportunity to respond, all of which were filled here. So the court has acted completely appropriately under Rule 10, uh, 1101 with regard to how it proceeded. <laughs> Now, I respect the court for bringing this defendant back up to the, to the court again in order to see if we can't advance this proceeding or however else the court's going to address it today. But this was a completely appropriate summary contempt proceeding. Okay. Can I ask a question? Yes. Yes. Uh, can I know what kind of law are you reading right now? Rule 1101. No, what kind of law? Rule 1101. Can I not, see? It's a black law? It's Rule 1101. It's a black law. It's for dead people. Ma'am, I'm not going to answer your questions. You're again you disturbing the... I don't have to. Yes. You have no right to I ask me a question. Woman. I you have, a free woman. You have no right to ask I me a question. Woman, Judge, my questions song. will only be through the court, Your Honor. I will okay. not address this or engage is, this defendant directly. With all the respect to you, <laughs> not a judge, you are uh, employees of Hillsborough Township Corporation. We're not in Hillsborough, we're in prison. You don't even know what town you're in. <laughs> we know Stop. that, right? And he's saying you are working for who? For Princeton. Okay, he works for Hillsborough. Prince, I work Princeton. for Princeton. I'm saying okay. Princeton. All right. Princeton. You're working for Princeton as well. You're being paid for every session here. So you work for Princeton Corporation, which is registered on Broad Street. You work for Princeton Corporation, which is registered on Broad Street. And you, gentlemen, who are touching my body and you depraving me of my free woman rights, working for the same corporation. Oh, blow it out your ass. Oh. Ah, that was superb. Now, let's watch the customary meltdown entitled people tend to have when they don't get what they want and they have to come face-to-face -to -face with the fact that they're not the center of the universe and no one is submissive to them. So what are you going on here? Okay, and I'm going to schedule you for a contempt hearing on the 21st of May at 2 p.m. I would advise you to... I didn't contempt. I'm by visit here. I sent you the notification. You were notified. Yeah. You were notified about the court. Okay, if I want to. If I want to. I'm a free woman. I am a free woman. I am a free woman. And I'm here by business and you deprave me of my free woman rights. Corporal Dawson, is she facing additional charges or do you want to release her today? We before I this against the camera. I don't want to talk to the judge. I don't know what... No, she's going to be released from this hearing. We can charge her with resisting or with obstruction. Okay, but but. But who we can also charged? exercise our discretion, Corporal Dawson. It's going to be up to you if you want how you want to handle okay. that. Christopher. The judge is asking you to release her from the building today. I think that's the most appropriate course of conduct here. Okay. Okay, so they have the charges up on the screen, but in case you didn't quite understand what was going on, as it was a bit chaotic, the prosecutor was basically telling the officer in charge that the judge is going to have the defendant released from the courthouse that day. However, they have discretion as to whether or not to charge her with resisting arrest, contempt of court, and obstruction. Now, given that the entire time and the last few seconds of the video left, she was, and still continued to be, the thing that wouldn't shut up. So you could take a wild guess what decision the officer in charge made. Who are you charging kids? Joanna Nicodon, Carmen Carlisle's I'm not the person. I'm not the person. I'm representing her, but I'm not the person. And that's where the video ends. Now I did have to cut a few parts out for the purpose of pacing, so feel free to head on over to Coffee and Donuts channel where you can find this video and many others in their original state unedited. 
So in the end, we've learned today that some sovereign citizens can be really, really full of themselves. I mean, this woman was positively oozing with arrogance and ignorance and entitlement beyond belief. And for someone who appears to claim to be a visiting foreigner, has the gall to think that they can openly defy and dictate to the lawful authority of that country. I mean, seriously, what kind of idiots think they could just go to another nation, brazenly take what they want, and then be suddenly surprised when there's actually consequences for it? <laughs> See, as you can see, the more you fuck around, the more you're going to find out. But then again, maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you like what you see here and you want to see even more in the future, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also, feel free to share your thoughts down in the comment section. I always love to read them. Till next time. Okay, one more Russian solves at traffic stop. Car glass remont, car glass zamena.